This is the TV44 High School Wiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the winter season of TV44's High School Wiz Quiz. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We've got a great show lined up for you. We have New Knoxville taking on St. Mary's, and a little bit later, you're going to see Spencerville face off against Arcadia. Of course, we want to introduce you to our players joining us from New Knoxville. We have Adam Hawkins, Sean Quigley, Jake Blitch, and Josh Schroyer. New Knoxville is coached by Corey Cannon. Welcome, gentlemen. All right, turning now to St. Mary's. Joining us is Maddie Jarris, Bailey Sparks, Gus Martin, and Frank Moots. And St. Mary's is coached by Chad Dahl. Welcome to all of you. All right, we have 10 questions in this first round. 10 points apiece are all up for grabs. Get those buzzers ready and make sure you speak loudly and clearly. When you give us a name of any kind, make sure it's as complete as possible. All right, here we go. Number one of your game. What crime did Vice President Spiro Agnew plead guilty to? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Tax evasion? That would be correct. All right, number two. Tony Hayward resigned from what company in July 2010 because of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill? Yes, St. Mary's. British Petroleum. You have the answer correct. Question number three. Early in Bill Clinton's first term, what issue did Hillary undertake? St. Mary's. Poverty. Poverty is incorrect. New Knoxville, you've got a chance. Uh, child care. Child care is also incorrect. Health care is the answer we're looking for. All right, whose autobiography is entitled My American Journey? New Knoxville? Colin Powell. You are correct. What is the capital of Wyoming? Yes, St. Mary's. Cheyenne. Cheyenne is the answer. What celebrity was caught shoplifting at Saks Fifth Avenue in Los Angeles in 2001? Yes, St. Mary's. Paris Hilton. That is incorrect. New Knoxville? The answer is Winona Ryder. All right, number seven. In what city did the Watts riots take place in 1965? Yes, St. Mary's. Chicago. Chicago is incorrect. New Knoxville, you want to try it? Yes. Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the answer. Who is the Prime Minister of Great Britain? Yes, St. Mary's. Theresa May. Theresa May is correct. Two questions remaining in round one. On which island in Hawaii is Waikiki Beach? Yes, St. Mary's. Oahu. Oahu is the answer. And your final question in round one. On what island was the Apostle John when he wrote the Revelation? Yes, New Knoxville. Nicaea. That is incorrect. St. Mary's, you want to try it? Yes. Crete. Crete is also incorrect. The answer is Potmos. All right, we've come to the end of round one. Here's our score. New Knoxville with 20 points. St. Mary's with 50. We'll be back with rounds two and three after the break. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal, Road State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. 
All right, welcome back everyone. We're moving into round two of our game between St. Mary's and New Knoxville. The score right now, New Knoxville with 20 points, St. Mary's with 50. That means St. Mary's, you're going to lead this round. You have five questions. They are all yours, worth five points apiece, but when you answer, would you please buzz in, okay? Number one, give the term for Northerners who came to serve in the South during Reconstruction. Yes. Carpet baggers. Carpet baggers is correct. What event did FDR say was a date that will live in infamy? Yes. Uh, the bombing of Pearl Harbor. That is correct. Richard Daly was the mayor of what city in the 50s, 60s, and 70s? Yes. Chicago. Chicago is correct. Name two of the trials from which God delivered the prophet Daniel. Yes. The lions and the flood. That is incorrect. It's the lion's den and the fiery furnace. All right. What weather pattern caused farmers in Oklahoma and Arkansas to flee in the 1930s? Yes. The dust bowl. That is correct. All right. Very good. We're going to move over now to New Knoxville. Gentlemen, again, please ring in with your answers. Who founded the National Organization for Women? Yes. Eleanor Roosevelt. That is incorrect. Betty Friedan is her name. What was Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr.'s profession? Yes. Carpenter. Carpenter is incorrect. Supreme Court Justice is the answer. All right. During whose presidency was the Iran-Contra affair? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan is the answer. Investigated for ethics violations, from what state is Representative Charles Rangel? Yes. Virginia. That is incorrect. It's New York. And you have one question remaining in this round. In what state would you find the Shenandoah Valley? Yes. West Virginia. That is incorrect. It's actually Virginia. All right. We've come to the end of our second round now. Here's our score. New Knoxville 25 points, St. Mary's 70. This round, again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. They're all up for grabs. Everybody ready? Who was the first woman to serve as a justice on the U.S.? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Uh, Sandra Day O'Connor. You are correct. Central Park in New York City is a half mile wide and how many miles long? Yes, New Knoxville. Three. Three is incorrect. St. Mary's, you want to try it? Yes. Uh, five. Five is also incorrect. Two miles long is the answer. Name the tower erected by men in order to reach God. Yes, New Knoxville. Tower of Babel. That is correct. The Roe versus Wade Supreme Court case was about what? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Abortion. Abortion is correct. What does the Federal Ways and Means Committee oversee? New Knoxville. Ethics. That is incorrect. St. Mary's, you want to try it? Yep. A welfare. Also incorrect. It is revenue. All right. Who received the Best Actress Oscar for The Blind Side? St. Mary's. It's on blank. Okay. Do you want to try it over here in your next one? Yes. Sandra Bullock. You are correct. All right. Question number seven. In golf, what is the name for the grassed area between the T? Yes, that would be New Knoxville. The fairway. Fairway is correct. Which country is the largest producer of soybeans? St. Mary's. China. China is incorrect. New Knoxville, you've got a chance. Yes. United States. That is the answer, the United States. Who was the only U.S. president that never married? 
St. Mary's. James Buchanan. That is correct. And your final question in your game. If you were in the United States southern town of Oxford, Mississippi, what university would be near? Yes, New Knoxville. Old Miss. Old Miss, that is incorrect. Yes. Mississippi State. That is also incorrect. It is the University of Mississippi. All right, we've come to the end of our game between St. Mary's and New Knoxville, and here is the score. New Knoxville with 65 points, St. Mary's 100. Congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. New Knoxville, you played a great game. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you back here in just a minute with another game. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal, Road State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by QB Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, we just wrapped up a really good game between uh, New Knoxville and St. Mary's. Our score there, New Knoxville with 75 points, St. Mary's with 100. That means they'll be moving on in competition. They'll eventually take on the winner of this game now between Spencerville and Arcadia High Schools. Let's introduce you to our players joining us from Spencerville. We have Logan Kaur, Riley Webb, Kane Hernandez, and Laurel Frew. And Spencerville is coached by Melissa Pritchard. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Arcadia High School, we have Meredith Bowes, Mesa Grine, Lucas P Puttycomb, and Jenna Fenimore. And Arcadia is coached by Keisha Holtzberry. Welcome to all of you. All right, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece in this first round. It's really important that you speak up, speak loudly and clearly so that we can hear you and so can the players at home. And we have our judge joining us, Mark Dickman, and we will refer any questions to him about the answers that you give. But please make sure when you give a name that you make it as complete as possible, okay? All right, let's get those buzzers ready. All up for grabs here, question one. What was the name of the wife of a senator who was a presidential hopeful who died in 2010? Yes, Spencerville. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> that is incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try it? Nothing? Okay, we'll wait. All right, the answer is Elizabeth Edwards. All right, question two. Thomas Jefferson and what other president died on July 4th of 1826? Yes, Arcadia? John Adams? John Adams is correct. How many Old Testament books are there in the Bible? Spencerville. Four. Four is incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try? Fifteen. That is also incorrect. The answer, 39. All right. In the movie Monsters, Inc., who is the little girl who sneaks into the monster world? Yes, Arcadia. Boo. Boo is correct. Question number five. Name the largest lizard. Yes, Spencerville. The Komodo dragon. That is the answer. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Yes, Spencerville. Oh, Michelangelo. That is incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try? Yes. Leonardo da Vinci. That is the answer. All right, question number seven. How many children did George Washington have? Yes, Spencerville. Three. Three is incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try? 
Yes. Five? Five is also incorrect. He had none. All right, question eight. Give the popular slang term for U.S. infantrymen in Europe during World War I. Yes, Spencerville. Troops. Troops is incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try? All right, the answer is doughboys. All right, two questions remaining in round one. In which state is Fort Knox located? Yes, Spencerville. Kentucky. Kentucky is correct. Very good. All right, and your final question in round one. Becoming a state in 1876, what state is called the Centennial State? Spencerville. New York. New York is incorrect. Arcadia, you want to try this one? Yes. Alabama. Alabama is also incorrect. Colorado is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one. Here's the score. Spencerville, 20 points. Arcadia with 30. That means, Arcadia, you're going to lead this round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, okay? But please make sure you ring in with the buzzer. To what state does Prince of Wales Island belong? Over here? No. All right, time is up. The answer is Alaska. All right, question two. Franklin Roosevelt's good neighbor policy was for what area? Time is up. The answer is Latin America. In what state is Mount Shasta located? That's incorrect. The answer is California. All right, you have two questions remaining. Which explorer, writer, and naturalist founded the Sierra Club? It would be John Muir. All right, you have a final question here in the second round. Name the volcano that erupted in 1980, killing 57 people. Yes. Mount St. Helen. You are correct. All right, moving over to Spencerville now. Is everybody ready here? Please buzz in with your answer. Upon which disciple did Jesus say he would build his church? Yes. Joseph. Joseph is incorrect. It is Peter. What detective is the main character in The Hound of the Baskervilles? Yes. Sherlock Holmes. You are correct, Sherlock Holmes. Which month has the day with the most daylight in the Northern Hemisphere? Yes. June. June is correct. Good. How many syllables does a haiku have? Yes. 17. 17 is correct. And your final question in the second round. Name the award-winning book by Maurice Sendak. Marley and Me. That is incorrect. The answer is Where the Wild Things Are. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here's our score. We have a tie. Both teams with 35 points will be back with our final round after the break. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal, Road State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, 
and by QB Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, we are moving into our third and final round, and we have a tie. Both teams here with 35 points, Arcadia and Spencerville High Schools. Again, these are 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Up for grabs. Get those buzzers ready. Who created the character Frankenstein? All right, team's time is up. The answer is Mary Shelley. In what comic strip would you find Dagwood, Herb, and Mr. Dithers? Yes, Arcadia. Blondie. Blondie is correct. Name the founder of Facebook. Spencerville. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg is the answer. What was the Old West's Doc Holliday's profession? Spencerville? The sheriff. Sheriff was incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try it? Doctor. That's close, but no, it is dentist. All right. Question number five. Name two of Noah's three sons. All right, teams, you could have answered Shem. Ham and Japheth. All right, question six. In what novel is Holden Caulfield the central character? <laughs> Spencerville? Gone with the Wind. That is incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try? Catcher in the Rye. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> Good guess, Al. Huh? All right. Question number seven. Who was leader of the Soviet Union during the Bay of Pigs crisis? Yes, Spencerville. Vladimir Putin. That is incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try this one? Gorbachev. Gorbachev. That is incorrect. The answer is Nikita Khrushchev. All right, question eight. Molly Brown, a Denver socialite, survived which disaster? Yes, Spencerville? Hurricane Katrina. That is incorrect. So, Arcadia, you can try this one. Hurricane Sandy. Also incorrect, it would be the sinking of the Titanic. All right, two questions remaining in round three. Who was nicknamed the Wizard of Menlo Park? That would be Thomas Edison. All right, your final question. Who was the Roman god of war? Yes, Spencerville. Mars. Mars is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Arcadia and Spencerville. We have a tie. Both of you have 55 points. What happens now is that we go into sudden death. So I'm going to ask a question. Whoever buzzes in with the correct answer gets the, uh, wins the game, okay? So here we go. This goes quickly. What organ is inflamed by hepatitis? Colon. That is incorrect. Spencerville, you want to try? Yes. Your liver. The liver is correct. All right. Congratulations, Spencerville. You have won our game. Arcadia. Tough playing. Thank you for joining us this year. And we want to thank you for watching at home. We'll see you back here next week. Have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.